I kind of wish it would refresh the entire... I guess this is like random feedback, but I feel like um, it should refresh the entire dungeon. In a way, if, if it's going to restore the bosses and apparently make them difficult, at the very least, make it so the bosses um, or the rest of the dungeon regenerates, like the, the guards at the front there. Like either I could use the key now, but that, but I guess that gets weird because there's an achievement for doing certain things there. I don't know. I don't know how I would end up doing that. Either way, I'm feeling pretty good about uh, killing them as quick or killing him as quickly as I did. Could have been way worse, way, way worse. Now, as I say, as I'm dying a horrible, oh my goodness, death. Here, let's use a bomb. Do some zappy across. Let's kill this guy. Oh, he just got knocked off. Oh no, I'm gonna die. No, no. No, no, no. Why are you buffing the little teapot? Stop it. It's a little teapot that could. Ow. Die. You stupid thing. No, my food. Don't knock it off. No. <laughs> I should have gone for it, but I probably would have taken the damage. Oh, this sucks. Not, not ideal, not ideal, not ideal. Don't fall off. Okay. Oops. I didn't. Oh, what am I doing? I'm playing so poorly. Can I actually, like, not be bad here? Ooh, some, some food. I should have waited for it to cook, but I actually didn't realize it was going to pop out. It actually kept me in the fight just a tad longer. I don't care about the gold at the moment. I just care about easy come, easy go, apparently. I don't know what achievement that was. Something to do with pilfers. Okay, so they're dead. I've got 75 life. Ow. Just poked me in the face. Get butt heads. Let's remove that because that's annoying. Can I just like swing at these guys from here? <laughs> yeah, you don't like that, do you? Wait for that. Heal. Boom. Man, the butcher's cleaver is keeping me up. Swing and a miss. All right. Give me that. Bam. That was close. That was, uh, not good. That could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. Could have died right there, actually. I feel like I almost did. But man, I am getting a lot of gold from everything now. I like this. I feel like I'm in the halls. A bombushka. Which, uh, apparently if you pick this up, you do gain a free bomb. I'm gonna keep the lightning bomb. I like it quite a bit. Uh, or do I want to? We're getting to the point where there's gonna be water on the ground. And if we try to kill the next boss, I really don't want to have to deal with uh, with the lightning on the ground. Excuse me, because he just like, he, he already electrifies the water. I don't want to have to deal with that. Let's not do that. Um, I have another potion, so I should probably be on the lookout for a good one. This gives me even more food. I'll take a bomb. I think that'll be good for now. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's get one food. Hey, everything else is fine. I'm not finding enough chests to justify the leftovers. Uh, there may be a hidden room to the right. Uh, I could try to get these. I could get one of these. Actually, I can't get the other, so let's blow this up. Ah. Oh, hey, look, a secret area. Ooh, what's that? Petrified rock. Increased drop rate of items from rocks. Where'd that come from? Obviously, it came from the rock, but I don't think I've ever seen that before. Curse me, but give me bunches of keys. Remove that. I don't even care which one it was. Just get rid of it. Oh, well. This is awkward. Am I even able to get over there? I don't think I am. I would need some kind of floaty upgrade. But ooh, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Ooh, lots of stuff. Lots of enemies. Well, if I can bunch them up. There we go. Cooked food. I love it. Die, rodents. Cool. Okay, thorium. I'll take that because I actually want to start stashing that, stockpiling it as much as I can. Um, because, of course, you do now get the familiars from using thorium after getting patterns, of course. 
um, in the next update. So I want to have as much thorium stashed as possible. I'm going to try to place a bomb here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, come on. I was hoping I would at least kill the rock. We have one secret. We haven't been over to the right, so I should probably check over there. I doubt that there's much that I should be worried about. Um, as far as like, you know, getting things. Ooh, so I could use that. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, uh, losing less gold on death would be nice. Throw damage is not super great. Healing is more effective. And let's do max health. Curse me. And what did it give me as a curse? Increased cost of shop items. That sucks. So let's go. Then go all the way back up. And of course, remove that. That would be nice. I am enjoying uh, the process of this game. It, as I've mentioned before, feels like, in many ways, Hades. And Hades is a fantastic little game. And anything that could give me the feeling of Hades is a, is a step in the right direction. I don't know what it is about Supergiant, but they always make, like, just absolutely amazing games. Whether it be Bastion, Transistor, or Pyre, or Hades, as the case may be. But, uh, Thorium has done a very good job of putting this little game together and making it extremely enjoyable. <laughs> There's very few games that I enjoy coming back to as often as things like this like i would say hades undermine and um get out of here and divinity original sin 2 are all three series on the channel going at the moment that i actually really want to play during the week which is a, a big difference is that swing speed i'm actually might go swing speed could increase my gold income. That would be okay. Um, I think faster swing speed might be really good. Increase gold income though. Let's let's go gold income. I'll take a curse. I think it's throw damage. Yep, deal less throw damage. That's fine. It sucks, but you know I can. I'm sure I can remove that in between now and the golem. Dodge. Like, when I when I would do a series in the past, and this is typically the case for doing long series, you know, of 20 plus episodes on the channel, is you get to the point where you're playing the game on a weekly basis. But there's so many good games out there, you kind of get sick of playing that game. You know what I mean? You just like, you're like, I want to play different games. So in the past, that's usually how the channel has been for me as I get to about episode 20 or 30 on a series. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this game. I want to try something new. But Undermine, Hades, and Div especially Divinity. Divinity among all of them. I've like been really enjoying playing. And that's a testament to just like the quality of games that we've been doing on the channel, which I think is really freaking cool that there's so many good games out there that we can do that. And, uh, it actually encourages me to find other really cool small games like hate or like undermine um, and I've got you know I get probably 20 or 30 games a month from indie developers and others that are like hey check out my game I'm like I would love to I just don't have the time on the channel because I'm you know, doing series like this one so I think what I'll do oh, that's gonna be really high in the air is uh, probably end up looking more why are these glowing you notice that like those statues aren't just like gray they got like a glow to them what if i put a bomb here huh well, it was worth it i guess oh come on i know i can make that jump like the fact that i'm enjoying the series i'm doing makes me way more uh ready to do and willing to do new games on the channel. I think that's really cool. So I think I'm in a really good spot at the moment as far as uh, our content. And I want to try looking for healer, which was sent to me and it looks freaking amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. But hey, just as, you know, we're diving through this dungeon, 
getting closer and closer to the golem for our I guess what would be our first run on our second time through the game since uh beating the final boss that if you enjoy our content you know if you, if you like watching these undermine videos uh I do I do quite a few videos on the channel you can always go check those out like Hades or divinity or whatever new that I'm going to come up with in the next week or two because I'm again getting really cool stuff but I'm going to wait to buy those I am going to buy this though so if you enjoy that uh, and you like our content consider headed over to our patreon which is a really good way for people to support the content that I'm doing because let's be honest YouTube ad revenue is really bad and if I want more time to be able to devote to Undermine or these other really cool games coming out, um, literally every dollar helps with that. And I really appreciate our patrons we do have. And of course, there's some exclusive content over there. There's like a weekly vlog or a monthly vlog exclusive to Patreon where I talk about all the fun stuff in my life, like getting engaged and moving to Florida, which is something I recently did. So it's just something to consider. And again, thank you if you are already one of those people. Let's not forget this gold on the wall before we get to the next level. Let's go further down. I don't really feel like... I don't really feel like I'm in a position that I'm going to be very weak against this boss. Like I, I think we're in a very dominating position at the moment. We've gotten several good blessings. I've got a lot of gold available to me. Oh, this is one of these. Yeah, sure. We'll do this. Uh, pay her 400 gold to open three chests. Yeah, sure. There's all sorts of good stuff. There's a couple potions. I don't know what that was. That was lava or something. I'm going to try to keep an eye on that one. Oh, it's, oh, that's right. They all go to the middle. I forgot. Well, let's check the middle. Yay key. Let's check the bottom. Oh, lots of gold. Well, relatively. And let's top. Pilfer. Well, that sucks. That could have been better for 400 gold. I could remove that curse or I could increase some swing damage. Before we get that, let's look around. See if we can't find any else, anything else to remove curses. Because if that's the case, I may get it and, and gamble on removing one of the two curses that I get. Um, otherwise, I'll just remove the curse that I have because I, you know, I do use the throw on the golem. So it might be worth it to not totally gimp that damage. I don't want to quite get that until it's done cooking. And of course, we have one more level before we reach the boss level. So any extra healing I can get and any extra damage I can avoid between now and then will be very, very, very helpful. Man, I love this butcher cleaver combo. Yeah, give me that heal. Just like easy 50 health every single time. Bam, bam, ow. Do that. Um, I think, what happened to one of my potions? Or is this the potion that I'm looking for? What happened to the healing potion? Did I never end up getting the healing potion? I thought I did. No, that's right. I never went back to what's your faces thing. Sorry if you've pointed that out to me. I totally did not realize I never went back to her place to get that healing potion, which would have been nice on Selt. Could have made the difference if I hadn't already dominated him. Like, if that fight was much harder, um, probably would have ended up eating it, but I managed to get through that fight without really taking any damage. I don't think that's going to be the case for this next one. I think I'm going to take a lot of damage, but at least I'll be prepared for that inevitability. Yeah back over here. Nope. Stop. There we go. I hate those things. That was close. I almost got hit by those. Uh, I can transform this relic. Kill her real quick. Should probably go kill the other one too. I mean, I got like the rats grouped up. I may as well swing in. Okay. Let's do her. She's dead. Now we can kill him. Or it. It's a matron. It's a matron, a, a woman. I don't remember if matron and patron are, or uh, gender exclusive or if it's means something else. I don't remember. Deal more swing damage at high health. 
Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, additionally, I will do this. Which curses us, but we also gained... Oh, well, we, items become extra fragile. I don't know what that means. Sounds bad. What, what blessing did we get? Or did we not get a blessing? I thought you were supposed to get a blessing from that. Did I get another strength blessing? I think I might have. Or did I just get that key? Wow, that would be bad if all I got was a key. Let's check the shop. Now we're, and then we're going to go, um, remove a, uh, a curse. We've got plenty of keys. Uh, honestly, that's not a bad choice. So we'll get that healing potion and I'll pick up this and this. And I don't need any keys uh, unless by some means I go through all my keys. I'm just not going to need them. Even if, even if I kill the next boss and move on. It's unlikely that I'll need any keys. Can I talk to her again? Um, no. I was hoping that maybe I could pay her another 400 gold to open three more chests. Uh, let's go to remove a curse for 75 health, which is why, by the way, I healed up in the shop. Ah, not the one that I really wanted to remove, because actually I don't know what this one does, and that scares me. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to, like, make it so suddenly I can't throw or my keys will break or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I, I honestly have no idea. So I want to be kind of careful. We may find out though, exactly what it does. Look at all this gold though, jeez. Gold, lovely. Gold, that's fine if he takes that one, but I'm gonna knock it out of his hands. And what's the likelihood of there being a secret in this room? Pretty high, let's blow this up. See what I mean? Found it. Although I did break that key. Uh, we our net one bomb. Oh crap! I don't know why I thought attacking that bomb would do anything, but apparently it it destroyed it. I thought it required like two attacks in order to destroy it, but nope, just one. Uh, and we got our other secret up here, so we're uh, bomb neutral. And two keys. Yeah, I, either I'm gonna need <laughs> either I'm gonna need a keyblade, or I'm just gonna be stuck with enough keys to the end of the game. Because like I said, there's even if we kill the next boss and we move on to the final one, there's not enough rooms in between here and the final boss to use all these keys. Might be enough chests, but even the combination of that, I'd have to get pretty lucky. So let's gather my gold before I go over to that shop, or do I want to wait to go to the shop? What exactly would I get that could justify waiting to go to the shop? Not a whole lot. Even if I get like a the free food ticket, it'll still happen the next time I come in here. Wow, imagine that. Food will sometimes duplicate itself. That's powerful. Let's get some bombs. We'll get some healing. I don't really care about my gold at the moment. Uh, why does it say that that's locked? It's not. I could remove that curse. Which actually is not a bad idea, but let's let's check the rest of everything going on here. Um, I could use this potion on this relic, this upcoming relic, and that may make it so. Ooh, bomb pilfer. Nah, I probably should try to get him. That may make it so I get something super freaking good, or at least don't get something that's totally useless. I hate these guys. At least I'm doing more throw damage. Because I got rid of the curse. Ow. I did just crit for 111 though. That was pretty good. Man, get wrecked. I don't want to hit him. Okay. Whew. Loves that damage. I'll come back for that gold. Uh, what is it? Chance on hit to chain lightning. I mean, I don't feel like I need to change that one. That one's just good. It's just good, period. I could try to see if there's a secret on the bottom. Well, he floated, floated away. There may also be a secret here at the top. Got another bomb, so that should help. I feel like I need to find two secrets on this level, at the very least. Because if I can either find 
some of that's gonna give me a curse that I can remove. At the, uh, but, you know, also gain a buff, a blessing. That'd be pretty good. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use the shrine to remove this curse because I'm not quite sure what it does. I don't see any more gold. Let's go to the dead end room first, which has an interesting room. Is this gonna blow that up? Oh, that sucks. So I needed to be able to blow up the rocks without blowing up the fire thing. And that would have given me a chest. Oh, that sucks. I didn't think about that. Actually, I didn't think that you could blow it up with a, with a bomb. Ooh, hate those guys. Nope, hate that thing. Nope, oh, stupid goblin guy. Oh, stupid bomb. Oh crap, I've taken a lot of damage. Now oh, bomb guys, bomb guys, bomb guys, run. Whew, got him, okay. Oh, why did that just blow up? All right, get back here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that gonna spike me if I get to the other side of that? No, good, okay. Huh, I guess there's just, you know, a space on the top of the bottom. Uh, oh crap, why is it, why is that getting, oh wait, because it's the curse. Ah, I see, that sucks. All right, well, in that case, Oof, I feel like uh, I'm not going to use Bambushka on the golem. So I should try to get a secret room. So actually, I should try. Actually, no, I, I blew up a bomb here. There's nothing there. So we know that. I have four bombs remaining. We could do one in this room, which there's a possibility that there's a secret. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, also, I probably should have put the bomb on that side regardless. Because there's a rock over there, I could have blown up the rock and I have the relic, which increases my stuff gained. Oh, that sucks that I'm just losing out on all that food. Is is it even worth it for me to do this or is it just going to break it even if I get something? Gosh, that sucks. Wow, that's a bad curse. And now I know what it does. It's real bad. That's what it does. Let's run all the way over to... Where was the, the shrine? I think it was off over... To the right. I haven't gone up yet. And then we'll remove this curse at the cost of a lot of life. I'm going to be pretty low. That sucks. I feel like it's useful though. I don't need... I mean, I could buy this try to get some extra health. But it's only sometimes duplicates itself. So even then, it's not super great. I could use the healing potion. Which we'll do if we need to in a pinch. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need to. I'll go check this area up here. Yeah, sometimes you get food out of out of these and whatnot. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Gosh, that sucks. Let's um let's use the healing potion. Where could be a secret area possibly in here? Let's use one bomb here. Yep, okay, that'll work. Which, if I use a key here, and a key here, ooh, I get that. Lots of gold. Lots of gold, my goodness. No, get back here. Ah, oh, crap. I always suck with throwing that stupid thing. I guess we'll go down. Because, I mean, there's nothing else we can get from the shop. This is going to transform relics. I guess let's just try not to get hit. We do also have the resurrect relic. That might be pretty good. Come here, golem. Oh yeah, electrify the water so I can kill myself. I gotta be careful with that. Remember, I can get two swings in. There we go. Nope, we don't want to jump into the late or into the, the laser beam. jumping on stuff that's electrifying me. All right, well, hey, you know what? That's one ball dead. Do the arm. Only get one swing in there. If I do the jump, I don't have enough time to actually do multiple swings. Oof. 
Stop landing on those. No, dang it, I did it again. But is it gonna resurrect me? How much life am I gonna come back? 55, that's not a lot. That's bad, that sucks. All right, don't get hit. Almost did. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just don't die, please. I'm talking to myself here. You're talking to me. We're all talking to the same person. <laughs> We're all begging myself to not be bad. Back up. Arm phase again. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two. Okay. Ooh, food. That's nice. That's a good heal. Let's get the swings in on him. Okay, I got one arm dead actually there. Good. Destroying these apparently gives me food, so actually I probably should try, you know what I mean? I want to electrify myself. He's getting way too far away from me. Crap. Well, the fact that I'm taking reduced damage because of that relic is helping, but I don't think it's going to be the thing that saves me. Really kill more of these. Try to get some more health. Just swing wide. Going for it. Oh gosh, I jumped. I hit A and it got me. Oh, that sucks. I got all that gold I lost. I lost uh, quite a bit, but I gained, hey, you know, quite a bit too. <sighs> not, uh, not the easiest thing. Well, what upgrades can we get? Well, first off, let's get these, um, get those. I won't get the remove curse and blessing one because I think that's pretty good. Um, I kind of feel like, I mean, we have 5,000. I could try to get another swing damage upgrade or I could reduce the gold that I'm losing. That's probably the best option. And I don't like that because it's kind of boring. Is there anything I could start with? Not particularly anything that I want to go with right now. Um, I would prefer to try to get the, uh, whatchamacallits? The familiars. So I want to save up my thorium, but I feel like this is a good opportunity to get something else. I don't think I can get anything from over here. I think it's all too expensive. I guess I could pick this up, which would allow me to pick up items with my throw. But eh, let's just go get a base upgrade. I know it's boring. Uh, maybe throw, maybe throw distance or throw damage. Let's do throw damage. It's so boring. Ah, that sucks. I wanted to buy something cool, but I just wasn't going to have the gold. Down we go once again.